Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the HRC DVR VTX. In this video I'm going to go over its features, measure its output strength and then I'm going to mount it on my Batman 220 and head outdoors and test it out. The DVR VTX comes inside this small bag. In addition we're getting an MCX to an RPSMA antenna connector or if you want you can buy it with an SMA antenna connector like I did. We're getting also a set of stickers, some silicone wires, standoffs and screws, and the instructions manual. The specifications of the onboard DVR are identical to the DVR Nano, so it records video on VGA at 24 frames per second. In addition, it supports both NTSC and PAL, and the main difference is that the DVR Nano doesn't have an onboard microphone, whereas it's present on the DVR VTX, and it's going to record the audio directly on your DVR. The board itself weighs 7.86 grams, and its dimensions are 36.3 by 36 by 6 millimeters. In addition, the distance between the mounting holes is the standard 30.5 mm, so it will enable you to mount it easily on top of your stack. Just like all the new VTXs from AJRC, it uses an AM6 antenna connector. Over here we can find the channel and band and output strength selector, and it's going to be reflected on this screen over here. This VTX supports 40 channels and has a selectable output strength of 25, 100, 200 and 500 mV. Over here we can find the record button, you will need to press it in order to start the recording and press it again in order to stop it, which is very important because if you're not going to press it at the end of the flight, the last file is not going to be saved to your micro SD card. In addition, it splits the video into 5 minutes segments, which means if your flight is 7 minutes, it's going to be split into 5 and 2 minutes videos. And finally over here we can find all the pads, the working voltage is between 7 to 26 volts, then we've got the ground, plus 5 volt, ground, video in, and the smart audio pad which is using the IRC Trump protocol. So now I've got the DVR VTX connected so I can measure its output strength. First of all if you want to configure it using the button you will need to short press it in order to change between the 8 available channels. Long pressing it for 2 seconds is going to enable you to select between the 5 available bands and long pressing this button for about 5 seconds will enable you to choose between 25mV, 200mV, 400mV and 500mV. So as you can see now the VTX is set to 25mV and I'm getting about 42mV. On 200mV I'm getting about 211mV. On 400mV I'm getting about 432mV. And finally when it's set to 500mV I'm getting about 620mV. The next thing I've done is to head outdoors and test the AJRST DVR VTX out. I think that the VTX performed quite well and in addition it provides a great all-in-one solution for recording your flight footage. I do have two points that AJRC should take into consideration when developing the next generation. First of all, I think that the micro SD card can be ejected quite easily and adding a protection such as the one that Runcams are using, it's going to prevent from accidentally ejecting the micro SD card. And in addition, not everybody wants to record the OSD on their DVR, so I think that adding another pad for video in, which is going to be bridged by default with the VTX video in, will enable you to choose whether you want to record the OSD, or you can connect the video in pad directly to the camera, and then it's not going to overlay the OSD on your DVR. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.